So when you catch yourself at your desk, all slumped and rounded, the first thing I want you to do is grow tall. Don't put an arch in the spine, just your nice, long, natural spine. We're gonna encourage some more space between the rib cage and the hips. So you're just gonna gently cut the ribs and you're gonna, it's as though you're just gently lifting the rib cage up. Relax the shoulders down. So first of all, we're gonna come into our breath. So you're gonna breathe in and out through the nose, directing the breath under your hands. So you're gonna breathe in for a count of four. And we're gonna lengthen the exhalation just a little to a count of six. You're going to use this breath and we're going to come into a side stretch. So you're going to breathe in and on the exhale, tuck the bottom under, tuck the chin in and reach the fingertips down. Breathing in, two, three, four, back into that side stretch. And breathing out, rounding, lengthening the lower back. In two, three, four, breath to the long side of the body. Out, tucking the pelvis under, tucking the chin in. And taking that exhalation. The inhalation, you might want to look up. Because the exhalation, you're going to round and tuck the chin in. Now, if you really like that opening to the side body, know, of course, that you can hold this stretch. If it's of more value for that rounding, reaching position, allow the breath to flow as you hold this stretch. And you might notice, or I definitely noticed that the side that I've worked on is much more open, so balance out. If you notice that you've got one side that's kind of a bit shorter, more closed than the other, spend more time on, the, on that closed side. 